Welcome to our episode of The World Brief. Today, we're diving into some fascinating stories from around the globe. First up, China's Baidu has announced that its chatbot, ErnieBot, has now reached a whopping 200 million users, doubling its user base since December. This marks a significant milestone, showcasing the rapid adoption and the potential of AI technology in today's digital age. Next, we travel to Switzerland, where Chef Frank Su is bringing authentic Chinese flavors to the heart of Europe. His restaurant, Lutze Fung, has not only earned a Michelin star but has also become a beacon of high-quality, authentic Chinese cuisine in a region far from its homeland. Lastly, we're looking at the resilience of Taiwan's tech industry following a major earthquake. Despite the potential for disruption, the industry has shown incredible robustness, ensuring that the global supply chain remains largely unaffected. This is a testament to the strategic planning and preparedness of Taiwan's tech giants. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage on these stories. In a world that's rapidly digitizing, the race to create the most sophisticated and user-friendly artificial intelligence chatbots is heating up. Baidu, a tech giant based in China, has thrown its hat into the ring with its chatbot, ErnieBot, which has recently achieved a remarkable milestone. According to Al Jazeera, ErnieBot has now amassed over 200 million users, doubling its user base since December. The bot, which is the first Chinese-developed chatbot to be announced for public release in August 2020, is not just a hit among individual users but is also making significant inroads in the business world. With its API being used 200 million times daily and 85,000 enterprise clients on board, ErnieBot is proving to be a formidable player in the AI arena. CEO Robin Lee revealed that Baidu began monetizing ErnieBot as early as Q4 2020, raking in several hundred million yuan by leveraging AI to enhance advertising services and help companies build their own models. This growth trajectory places ErnieBot in direct competition with Alibaba-backed Kimi Chatbot, setting the stage for an exciting showdown in the AI chatbot landscape. On a different note, the culinary world is witnessing its own form of innovation and excellence, particularly in the realm of Chinese cuisine in Switzerland. South China Morning Post brings us the story of Frank Su, the mastermind chef behind Lutze Fung, the only Michelin-star Chinese restaurant in Switzerland. Nestled in the luxurious La Reserve Geneva, Su's culinary prowess has not only earned the restaurant a coveted Michelin star in 2016 but has also maintained it to this day. With a rich background that includes launching Europe's first Michelin-starred Chinese restaurant, Shang Palace, at the Shangri-La Paris, Su brings an authentic yet modern touch to Chinese cuisine. His kitchen team goes to great lengths to import regional products from China, such as soy sauce, while also embracing local fresh produce. The menu, predominantly Cantonese with touches of Sichuan and other regional cuisines, particularly shines with its dim sum offerings. Su's vision extends beyond the kitchen, he aims to elevate the presence of authentic Chinese food in Switzerland, especially in Geneva, thus bridging cultural and culinary gaps. Meanwhile, in the political arena, the New York Times reports on House Speaker Mike Johnson's ambitious plan to push forward a national security spending package. This package is not just any legislative proposal. It's a multifaceted plan that includes aid for key U.S. allies like Israel and Ukraine. The complexity of the plan, coupled with Johnson's precarious hold on his caucus and a slim majority, makes its success uncertain. Furthermore, the package includes a bill specifically designed to appease conservatives who are skeptical about supporting Ukraine, showcasing the intricate balancing act Johnson must perform. This legislative effort could have far-reaching implications, not just for the recipients of the aid but also for Johnson's political career. With threats looming over his speakership, Johnson's maneuver through this political minefield could be a defining moment in his tenure. From the digital realms of AI chatbots in China to the culinary heights of Michelin-starred Chinese cuisine in Switzerland, and the intricate political maneuvers in the US, these stories highlight the diverse and dynamic nature of global developments. Each narrative, whether it's about technological advancements, culinary achievements, or political strategies, underscores the complex interplay of innovation, tradition, and leadership in shaping our world. In a world where technology shapes our everyday lives and political landscapes continue to evolve, recent events have brought forward the resilience of industries and the concerns of voters on a global scale. Starting with the tech industry, Nikkei Asia's Tech Latest segment shed light on the aftermath of a significant earthquake in Taiwan, a pivotal hub for semiconductor manufacturing. The natural disaster prompted concerns about potential disruptions in the global tech supply chain, affecting everything from chip manufacturing to smartphone production. Correspondents Annie Chang Tingfong and Lao Li Li discussed the immediate impact of the earthquake, highlighting how Taiwanese companies are striving to minimize its effects on global markets. 
Despite facing delays and possible shortages, the resilience of Taiwan's tech industry shines through. The commitment to rapid recovery and the efforts to ensure the continuity of operations underscore the critical role Taiwan plays in the tech ecosystem. This event has not only tested the resilience of the chip industry but also emphasized the interconnected nature of global tech supply chains. Moving from technology to politics, the Associated Press reported on the sentiments of voters in India as the country approached a six-week national election. The spotlight was on elderly voters who expressed their support for Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP. Modi's tenure has been marked by rapid economic growth, yet it has not been without controversy. Critics argue that his leadership has undermined democracy and the secular fabric of India, with unresolved issues such as corruption and unemployment lingering. However, elderly voters see Modi as a beacon of hope for India's future, advocating for a clean and accountable political system. Their support underscores the complex dynamics of Indian politics, where economic progress and religious identity play significant roles in shaping voter preferences. In a different realm of public concern, the Associated Press also delved into the legal battles surrounding Bayer, the chemical company behind the weed killer Roundup. Bayer has been lobbying lawmakers in states like Iowa, Missouri, and Idaho, seeking legislation that would shield pesticide companies from lawsuits alleging they failed to warn about cancer risks, provided their labels comply with Environmental Protection Agency regulations. This move comes after Bayer faced approximately $10 billion in legal claims, asserting that Roundup causes non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Critics argue that such legislation could significantly limit product liability claims, potentially affecting consumer safety. The legislative efforts in various states reflect Bayer's attempt to navigate the legal landscape, with the company investing in lobbyists to push for favorable outcomes. The debate over these bills highlights the ongoing tension between corporate interests and public health concerns. Each of these stories, from the resilience of Taiwan's tech industry following an earthquake to the political and legal battles unfolding in India and the United States, showcases the complex interplay between technology, politics, and corporate interests. Whether it's the global dependence on Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing, the political loyalties of Indian voters, or the legal strategies of a multinational corporation like Bayer, these narratives underscore the multifaceted challenges and opportunities facing our world today. The resilience of industries, the hopes of voters, and the legal maneuvers of companies all paint a picture of a global society navigating through times of change and uncertainty. In a world where technology and innovation are constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible, several stories have emerged that highlight the significant strides being made across the globe. From the bustling tech hubs of China to the competitive sports fields of South Korea, and even the strategic boardrooms of the United States and the United Arab Emirates, these narratives weave a tapestry of human endeavor and ambition. Starting in China, the South China Morning Post reports on the country's latest advancements in scientific research, as evidenced by the nominees for the 2023 National Science and Technology Awards. Among the contenders are projects that represent the cutting edge in semiconductor technology, communications, environmental research, and renewable energy. This prestigious award, established in 1999, is a testament to China's commitment to fostering innovation and maintaining its competitive edge in the global tech landscape. Despite facing criticisms over transparency and scientific rigor in the past, the awards highlight China's priorities and its determination to lead in critical technological domains. Meanwhile, on the sports front, another story from the South China Morning Post brings us the inspiring journey of Hong Kong tennis player Coleman Wong Chuk Lam. At just 19 years old, Wang is fiercely competing in the Guangzhou Open in South Korea, with his sights set on qualifying for the Paris Olympics. As the tournament's eighth seed, Wang's recent performances on the ADP Challenger Tour have significantly boosted his ranking, bringing him closer to achieving his Olympic dream. His dedication and relentless pursuit of excellence are a vivid illustration of how sports can encapsulate the human spirit's drive and determination. Across the globe, the New York Times delves into the strategic moves being made in the tech sector highlighting a high-stakes deal between Microsoft and G42, an AI giant based in the United Arab Emirates. This $1.5 billion investment marks a significant effort by Microsoft to counter China's growing influence in the Gulf region. The deal not only showcases the geopolitical implications of technology partnerships but also underscores the U.S. government's concerns about safeguarding AI intellectual property. By allowing G42 to sell Microsoft's AI-powered services while ensuring compliance with stringent security arrangements, this collaboration could set a precedent for how U.S. firms leverage their technological prowess to navigate the complexities of the tech cold war. Each of these stories, though distinct in their focus, shares a common theme of ambition and progress. 
Whether it's China's pursuit of scientific excellence, a young athlete's Olympic aspirations, or strategic international tech partnerships, they all reflect the relentless human pursuit of surpassing limits and achieving greatness. In a world that's increasingly interconnected, these narratives remind us of the diverse ways in which innovation, determination, and strategic thinking continue to shape our future. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.